100% into the book, so I've read 38 pages, and they've just become partners. So the main character is Jasmine, and she's a 26-year-old figure skater who's kind of been on the down and out. She's not been nailing any of her skating moves, and she's just gotten a new partner who is Lukov. So we're gonna see. They clearly hate each other right now, so... Okay, so we're in the next day. I have no idea what kind of update I gave last night. I was so tired. But I am currently 7% into From Luke Up With Love, which is 38 pages. I'm on a chapter 3. And I don't really have any strong feelings right now. So Jasmine has just been offered the opportunity to partner up with Lukov in partner skating. We know that they don't like each other. But we also know we're in an enemies to lovers, so <laughs> let's see how it goes. Okay, it's January 31st. I literally spent all day running around and I got to sit down to read finally. So I am 192 pages into From Luke Up With Love. And I kind of wish that it was dual POV because right now, Luke Up is just like such an unlikable person. And like, I just need some redeeming traits from him. Like, he's just annoying, rude, unkind, like, just... I don't see how this is gonna become a romance. And, like, once I pass 20%, that's usually, like, when I try to make a decision on DNFing, and I'm at 37%. And I'm still kind of middle of the road. I don't know how I feel ex- I don't know how I feel exactly about this quite yet. And, like, again, I I'm aware that the Mariana Zapata books are slow, slow burns, but I don't know, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. I'm gonna continue reading for now. It, it got slightly, slightly better. He's driving her home after practice, so like, I mean, he's giving us crumbs. He's kind of giving us nothing, but like, you know, it's a start. It's a start. You know, we're 200 pages into a 500 page book, so. Or almost, you know, approximately. So we're we're getting somewhere. We're gonna we're gonna see. just a few pages further along in the book and why does she like act like a child like the way she interacts with her siblings is just giving like like I get that she's the youngest child so she has those like youngest child tendencies and like maybe reverts to that like headspace when she's around her siblings but like it's just so annoying she's like a full 26 year old woman why is she, like, acting like she's, like, a teenager? Like, that's not necessary. It's not necessary. Okay, besties. I'm, I'm DNFing. From Lukov with love. I, I literally dislike Lukov so much. I don't like Jasmine. She's just too immature. So I'm, I'm calling it quits. Got 60% in. I think I really gave it a fair shot. It was just so not up my alley. And like I have to give Mariana Zapata some credit. She doesn't do that weird thing where she like info dumps information about characters. 
by like referring to them in really weird ways and I'll put an example here if I can find one not if I could definitely find one she doesn't do it as much so you know there's that but overall this book is just so so mediocre I just I gotta call it so I've now started the seven year slip and I had previously tried to get into it and I did not love it but I've given it another shot I'm six percent in and it's kind of cute or whatever it's kind of cute so I will hopefully like this much more than y'all this is already so much better the, the chemistry is just so much better oh my gosh This banter is so good. The banter is so good. This connection, Ashley Poston has written like the most well-developed characters in like 26% of the book. Like, the banter between the characters, amazing, incredible, the connection, chemistry, oh, A+. Plus. And then having the male main character's like whole reason for his career so well-developed so soon. Oh, literally I cried. That was so sweet so cute oh, i'm so glad i started this book i'm so glad Okay guys, so I finished the seven year slip last night and I kind of loved it. It was, it was pretty good. So I just want to talk about my thoughts, what I thought overall about the book. And first and foremost, Ashley Poston, you are such a good writer. I feel like she has such a good ability to capture scenes and like what is happening so vividly but like so succinctly and I feel like that's such a superpower like anytime I see that an author can do that I'm like dang you're good at what you do you're good at what you do so yeah just just off that alone I felt like this book was so good it just really captured me it drew me in I feel like she balanced the explanation and flashbacks very well we're just kind of as the story's progressing we're getting a flashback or an explanation as the story moved forward and it, that really propelled the plot forward. Now, let's move on to the primary reason I want to read this book is the romance. I feel like the author wrote the chemistry so well. It was just so good. Like they literally had a full on conversation about like cheese and I was over here giggling. Like it was, oh, I feel like this book just captured the feeling of falling in love so effortlessly. But my only gripe was the last hundred pages or so I feel like the plot was just a little too convenient and just move things forward like the conflict was a little bit I don't know it was not my favorite it didn't seem the most realistic 
My other sort of problem was that her best friends, Fiona and Drew, just seemed like the same person. They didn't really have different personalities. They were just the exact same person split into two people for the sake of plot, I guess. And so that overall brought the rating down. I feel like especially if the ending is not good, that just automatically just drops the rating. So I went from thinking, wow, this is going to be like a five star read to, okay, maybe a four. And then we kind of ended up around 3.5. So I rated, th uh, I rated, I rated the seven year slip 3.5 stars out of five. So overall it was a pretty solid read. I would definitely read it again just for the beginning, but I think Ashley Poston is a relatively new writer. I only know one other book by her and I guess she's still working on sticking the landing on that ending and that's okay. Overall, they were a cute couple. I really, I really did love Clementine and Ewan together. It was, it was cute. It was cute. It was very cute. Okay, that's the end of the vlog. I am a little disappointed that my first book from Luca with Love was a DNF, but such is life, you know, it's okay. I might continue to read it very, very slowly, but it was just very, it was just hitting all of my like buttons on like things I hate. So we're just, we're just gonna leave that on the back burner for now. And I think Seven Year Slip, that was like exactly what I needed to get back into the mood of like romance and romanticy that I originally was in. Because I was kind of worried that the first book was going to put me into a slump. But I think we evaded it. I think we ran away from that. Because I was I was genuinely getting a little worried. I'm like, oh, I'm about to fall into a reading slump, I feel it. But no. Anyways, please let me know if you watched the Percy Jackson finale this week. Because <sighs> that was so sad. I feel like it's just, this, book, this show was so good. I had my reservations, but it's just so good. And you obviously cannot compare it to the books because there's just so much more vision in the show because Rick is literally being consulted on all of this. So like, he just, he just so, he just laid the groundwork so well for the rest of the se the rest of the seasons, hopefully pray for season two. <laughs> but. Yes, please let me know what you thought of the finale if you watched it, because I loved it. I, this, the casting was so good. They, they're just, oh my gosh, Percy saying, I'm so sorry when he, he cuts, um, when he cuts Luke. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Anyways, also, wait one second before we end this. Did y'all watch the, the documentary immediately after? after finishing the finale because I was like, I, I was totally not ready for the uh, withdrawal of like nothing after. So I need a little, a little come down from that because <sighs> anyways, that's it. That's all. Please let me know if you watched the finale because I need someone to cry with me. Okay. That's all. This vlog has been so many finger guns. It's okay. That's, that's, that's the brand. Okay. Bye.